All right. Well, before we get start, before we get too deep into it, hello all and welcome back to Survivor Game Show Network. Uh, tonight we have the reunion for Survivor Exile Island. I am one of the hosts, Ian Moorhead, joined as always by my co-host Morgan Jackson. Morgan, how are you doing? I am doing great. Uh, it is wonderful to see all of everybody's faces again. It's been a lot of fun watching the episodes back and uh, reliving the game. Um, and I'm excited to talk to everybody and see what they have to say. Yeah, we have mostly everybody from the cast here tonight, which is great because this was a fantastic cast, as we said, all season long. Uh, and just two minutes ago, we were getting into some good conversations. So I had to start the reunion right away so we didn't miss any of it. So, uh, John, take us away, sir. Sucker, I'm sorry. It was my fault. <laughs> That's I should have okay. done it. It was so stupid of me not to. I was I was contemplating having you play it for me, but I, I don't know. Would you have actually played it for me if I came to you and said, I think it's me, play it for me? Yes, absolutely. You, you would have. All right. Lesson learned. Absolutely. I was definitely like, it was a very tough tribal council to figure out exactly who to play it for or whether or not I should play both of them. Uh, it was a tough one, but yeah. I would have well, done it for you. I would have done it for you, Mike. Well, I think we need to like dissect yes. the, the Zucker vote out because literally everybody who has come to get do an exit interview has said it was a bad move. I don't understand how it happened. I don't know why it happened. So what happened? I'd like to know. <laughs> uh, let's start with uh, let's start with Mackenzie. Uh, Mackenzie, what happened there? <laughs> oh, oh, like the biggest regret of my 2021. Um, <laughs> I can't think of anything else I regret more than voting Zucker out this year. Seriously. Um, yeah. So I was annoyed because John kept telling me what to do and that, that bothered me. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to do something that he would hate. Um, and little did I know, <laughs> although I should have suspected as much that it was going to destroy my game and like everybody in the game that I cared about and enjoyed working with this game. Um, it was a bad move, simply put. I'm sorry, Zucker. I should not have rallied the troops to vote you out. It killed my own game immediately after. Um, but I mean, the names that were being tossed around, like I didn't believe that anyone was really going to vote out Alex because nobody was down the week before, like at all. And the only other name that had come up was Lily. And at the time, like I really wanted to work with Lily. Like she was a Patreon of the Bad Bitch Book Club. So I thought that maybe there was some like loyalty there, but there wasn't. So <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's not really much to say because it was Don't dumb. Go. Like it was just I, dumb. I actually want to show a hands, and it, even if you weren't in the game at this point, so like Victoria and Bill, uh, raise your hand if you think the Zucker move was dumb. Two hands on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so wait, everyone, keep your hands up. Simmons didn't raise his hand. Oh yeah, Lauren, in your in your up. interview, you said you didn't regret it and you didn't think it was a bad move. That's I wrong. don't regret it. I don't That's wrong. It was a good. I think I it was a good move. I don't regret it. I'm not. I'm gonna stand by the move. I stand by every move I made in the game. And here's why I don't regret it. Because if John didn't choose the revenge tour to vote you out, we still would have been fine. It's because you and him stopped communicating with each other because you were ticked off that he yelled at you. That's where it all fell from there because you guys didn't speak after that and we still would have been fine taking out Zucker so I'm going to stand by the move okay I tried to talk to John in your interview John you said that I wouldn't talk to you for days but I approached you every few hours being like hey buddy are you ready yet like are you ready yet do you want to hear from me yet and you kept being like I need more time I need more time nope. I need nope. more time that's like, not what happened at all yes it is no it's yes. like on the first day it was and that was because we were both busy and it was hard you know, I wasn't busy like, I'm never busy. I was busy. Do we? Do I we was have, busy. Do we have the jury segment of John Lauren and Mackenzie? I'd love to see that footage right now, please. Yeah, no, where's the any. where's the ponder? We must have lost the ponder. Yeah, the, the three of them at the at the table. 
but no, no, Mackenzie's right. Like, like I did, I did have to put it off the first day, and then eventually we did talk to each other, but we didn't have any conversation after that, and like all of our text conversation that we had after that point was just felt so empty, and it was just like, okay, well, if Mackenzie doesn't want to work through this, then I guess we're not going to. I guess. But then you chose revenge, and then look what happened. Yeah, but Thanks it was that, so much. It was <laughs> so much fun, Lauren. To be but fit- your your intention was to only beat Mackenzie and I. That was your only intention after that vote happened. Uh, you so have to you have to realize though, like at that point, my win equity was nearly zero. Because like at the Zucker vote, I lost Zucker, who was my closest ally. You, Mackenzie, and Austin, who I thought I was working with and could go all the way to the end with had all turned Hi, on me. So I was sitting there by myself. So I was just like, okay, I have to make a move to work with Greg, Lily, Mike, and Alex here to see if it'll get me further in the game. And Why was- me though? Why me? Why me? Why not Austin who lied to your face? Why not Austin? Let's answer that question, please. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, that's another good one. Why not Austin? Well, because so after that vote, Austin, despite the fact that he was lying that night and then eventually Simmons was like, yo, you know, Austin was in on this. And then Austin, I did have that nice. Oh, it was you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. but Austin did make that effort to reconnect with me after the Zucker vote and really actually show, hey, John, like we can still work together. So Austin still kind of had my back there and the fact that he and I had kind of been building a relationship with Simmons and Alex at that point left me with more options with the people I had been communicating in groups with rather than just individuals. Well, I I apologize for not starting with this, but like, congratulations, Alex, for winning the damn game. No, no, I'm enjoying this. Please please continue. (laughs) Yeah, but like, I should have definitely started. Well, thanks. Thanks. Much, much appreciated. Yeah, how does it feel to win? Oof. uh, Crazy. It was it was as crazy watching it back as playing it, you know, because I I honestly, even though I knew I won watching the episodes back like I felt like oh man how like how 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 did I like win like how did I like I I just didn't see the votes and then final tribal kind of confirmed uh that was my like one badass moment I'd say I guess and so propelled me to the win I still don't like that I had to rely on that but a win's a win and I'm I'm happy I did it with this uh really good group of players that 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 feels pretty good to win against a good high quality group of players we did have an awesome cast, that's for sure. I mean, everybody brought it. So no matter where you finished in your placement, like you should all be really proud of yourselves because everybody here is a great survivor player and there's so much, so many factors into the game of Survivor. So Lily, second place, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> just about as close to winning as you can get without winning <laughs> by one vote. I have called myself Alex's maid of honor, not just a bridesmaid, but I was her maid of honor for this season. So sure. I wouldn't want any other honor. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the balloon with you today? I know. It's sadly deflated like another month later. So clearly it had more faith in me than <laughs> I did. <laughs> Um, and we have to go to Simmons, our robbed goddess of the season. <laughs> How are you feeling after everything has played out? You've seen everything. You've been able to talk about your game, talk it all out, receive feedback. I, I mean, I'm feeling great. I, I loved watching the season back. It was a lot of fun. Um, and talking with everybody from the season, it was just a blast. I know I was a little bit sour at that last final tribal, but you know, I'm extremely, extremely competitive and it just caught me off guard. So I was a little bit sour at the time, but you know, a couple of days later, I'm still not over it, but it's fine. It's, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun and Alex and Lily absolutely crushed it. 
Yeah, totally understandable. I mean, it's it's tough to get voted out and then have to then vote for a winner right away. Yeah, so that was, that was there's cool a lot of emotions right. involved for sure. Um, I feel like we have to do this because it's like the tradition of every reunion, all the, if this combination had sat at the end, who would have won? So we have a couple hypothetical situations here. Um, so we would love to, uh, get your votes. So try to get your mindset back into, um, where you were at final tribal council. So first hypothetical is if Lily had decided to vote out Alex instead of Simmons. So it's Lily and Simmons sitting in the final two. How does the vote shake out? So if you would have voted for Lily and you're on the jury, raise your hand. Jim votes for, for Lily. Andrew he is would have voted not for Simmons. What? I said Andrew's not here, so we don't know. We're missing name. Andrew. If you would have voted for Simmons. If Lily gave the same performance at Final Travel that she gave, I would have voted for Simmons. But if she gave a better performance, I would have voted for Lily. Sorry, Lily. I love you. It's okay. It's valid. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. So Mike would have won against Lily. How about if it had been a final three and you had the choice of all three of them? Andrew, Hello. welcome. Andrew, welcome. Oh. We're playing some um, hypothetical final tribal council scenarios. So we're very glad that you, as the mayor of Ponderosa, are here to help us uh, play these out. Um, so... I'll ask you, we already asked everybody else, but if it had been Lily and Mike in the final two, who would you have voted for? I would have voted for uh, Lily unless, you know, it was between Lily and Mike for me for a while. So uh, if Mike like went in there and like did his thing, I would have voted for him. But going in, I probably still would have voted for Lily. All right, so then here's the new scenario is all three, Alex, Lily, and Mike, are all sitting at final tribal council. They all get a chance to plead their case. So you have the choice between all three of them. And I am quite curious to see how this one would shake out. So if you would have voted for Alex, raise your hand. Hey, thanks, Jim. Mm -hmm. All right, we have one for Alex. How about Lily? Two for Lily and... Mike. I was like, all right. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. It's very uh, Survivor China of the jury there. Five, two, one. All right. Um, Mackenzie, we saw a strong reaction to the Alex win. How do you feel about it now after watching everything back? No, I think that Alex deserved his win because he really like killed it at final tribal council. I just was really disappointed by Lily because I was like, I went in like, I was going to vote for her no matter what. And I did. Um, I just felt like she played a better game and she wasn't able to articulate how she played. I think you guys were talking about it. I was listening to the recap today and you were talking about how there was a moment when she said like, whose vote do you definitely have? And I feel like I was a really obvious answer for that. Like I, I had basically told her that I was going to vote for her and there was no, like no situation in which I wouldn't have unless like, you know, that I, I was going to possibly vote for Mike Simmons. Um, so my, my reaction was more like, girl, what the fuck did you do? How did you bomb that so bad when your game was so much better and not sucks that it was Alex because I do think that his final tribal was it, it, he deserved his win. And I don't think there's a question whether or not he deserved his win. Bill, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on, on the season. You know, you're, you had to leave us early, but you got to watch it all play out. So what did you think watching everybody battle it out? Oh, it was pretty awesome. And especially watching the, the, rise the resurrection of og phil from from the ashes uh certainly had me uh very psyched through throughout it 
Um, I think the final three was great. If I were still there, um, I would have had a very difficult time deciding which one of those three to vote for. And I would have been perfectly happy with either of the, any of the three winning. And I think they should all be incredibly proud of themselves. But I hate them all for doing it with that one. Wasn't by choice, Bill, believe me. Uh, my brother. <clears throat> um, I do want to give a shout out to Jim. He had to leave for work. Um, Jim is one of my friends in real life. Um, so it was really awesome to watch him play and experience the game. Um, one of my highlights was when he got voted out, I got to snuff his pretend torch. So that was a little fun moment uh, for me with Jim. Um, oh, all I right. Wish... Um, sorry, did you say Oh, something? no, I was going to say, I wish I knew. I wanted to ask him a question before he left. I'll have to poke him on Facebook again. But I really wanted to know he would not flip. The final reason he said, at least to us, that he wouldn't flip was that he was afraid Greg was going to come after him. And I was silly enough to say, no, Greg, we'll keep Greg under control. I really wonder if he would have flipped if I promised to slice Greg in the next round. Would it change the game, Bill? Would it change the game? Oh, if I had made it past the wheel? Well, I mean, or if you would have sliced Greg in the next round, too. Oh, huge, huge. It's okay, Bill. You can still blame Victoria for choosing Jim over me because I would have flipped for you. That was such <laughs> <laughs> I will blame nothing on Victoria, the challenge queen. Um, yeah, Victoria, we were curious. What did you think of Jeremy's challenge? How do you think you would have done? Um, was that the cups? The cup stacking, and then you had to roll the dice also? Um, I guess since I don't have to prove it, I'll say I would do well. <laughs> I think you, I, I think you would have done really well. That. Victoria, you, you would have gotten it so much fast. <laughs> like Austin had us by miles and it still took a hot second. You know what I mean? Like you would have gotten it for sure. Yeah. I think that was one of our longest immunity challenges. Honestly. I cannot believe of all people Austin won that challenge. That's the name of the game, Mike. <laughs> Survivor. Dude, that was unbelievable. Yeah, that was. <laughs> even you didn't even think you were going to win that. <laughs> Yeah, with, with no setup, that challenge was about 20 minutes long. So, yeah, just constantly. Oh. Like, everyone seemed to have, like, a ceiling of, like, how far. Like, Lily, did you – I'm trying to think, like, was your, like, ceiling, like, three, four cups? And don't throw shade. It was four. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was only four. I sucked at that. <laughs> I mean, Alex was around the same. Greg was probably, like – I was rolling for my six as Austin was getting his countdown. So I'm just like one cup off for everybody then. But Alex, <laughs> Alex is it's saying okay. five, Greg's saying six. Mike was around six or seven. But yeah, I mean, I was honestly pretty <laughs> shocked that Austin won too, especially after he bombed extreme flip cup. Uh, do we really have to bring this up again? I mean, come <laughs> on. <laughs> All right. I want to talk to our mayor of Ponderosa, Andrew. How are you doing, Andrew? Good. I'm just making me a drink. Perfect. Shocking. Um, how how do you feel like you uh, shaped Ponderosa being the first one there? Well, like I said during my exit interview, um, this has been very, very bitter. Um, and I didn't want anyone to have, you know, have to deal with that, especially since this is most people's first game. Uh, so I just want to make sure that they were welcomed with open arms. What the hell is my shit? Uh, I want to make sure everyone was uh, welcome with open arms. Um, you know, some people, you know, I made sure to reach out to since they got there. Some people, I gave them a night because you could just tell who it kind of hit harder than others. And, uh, you know, I don't want to overstep boundaries by saying, hey, two seconds after someone was blindsided. Uh, so I would just kind of leave my video and then I would message them individually just in case they didn't want to talk to uh, the rest of the group. And I, and I hope that 
um, you know, people got good vibes from it. I hope that people didn't think that it was like fake or anything like that because I do uh, genuinely like th this cast and uh, I wanted to make sure everyone was having fun even after being voted out. Well, I know uh, I definitely appreciated that because Survivor is a tough game. It's tough emotionally and you may have to make hard decisions uh, against people that you build genuine relationships with. So um, to have somebody there greeting everybody was awesome. And for those of you who don't know, there were tons of awesome videos that everybody in Ponderosa made. Um, Zucker in particular, I don't know if we, we have to like share his Ponderosa video because. I had a lot of you, fun with that one. Yeah, you basically like replicated the format of how they do the real yeah. Ponderosa videos. <laughs> like an SNL that, that, was, that was the intention. Yeah, I wanted to have fun with it. I figured, you know, that I don't have to uh, be strategizing and, and, and drive myself crazy with these people. So I may as well take that time and put it to good use. So I had my wife help me out. We, we filmed for like a couple of hours during the day. We were like brainstorming. What should we do? What should we do? So we had fun with it. It was really cool. See, and that right there just shows like the dedication that you guys put into playing this game. Even after you're out of the game, you're still giving it your all, which is awesome. Yeah, I just I remember watching that video and, and Zucker's wife, Amanda, uh, for <laughs> yes. Alex, Lily and uh, Simmons. Amanda like took Zucker's vitals and was like asking him <laughs> questions about his health. And I was like, this is just so great. Like, oh, it was it was so fun to watch. All of those videos were fun to watch. Yeah, she tried to uh, impersonate Dr. Joe. It was like every detail was accounted for in that video. Um, speaking of that final immunity challenge, we were very curious to know, Austin, how do you think you would have done if you had been in the final three? Do you think you would have beaten any of them? All of them, I guess? I want to say, uh, yeah. I think I would have. Uh, I think I had a little bit more information built in, and not in this, And again, this is not a shade, as uh, as Lily said it earlier to as to give the word. But uh, it was, I, I just felt like I had a better understanding of the players that were in place, and uh, I want to say I would have at least got the goddamn French horn question right. <laughs> Hey, I got it right. Maybe it was by luck, but I still got it right. I was wondering. But I was agree. So <laughs> and Mike, I know your reasoning of why you picked me. It was just a bad reason. Of you all, look like you came straight from the band recital. What do you mean? Of all the years you've known me, I have never played the French horn. In <laughs> that one, I, I, I remember watching back and looking at my face and I was like, maybe I should have acted a little bit more surprised, but it, it was a, uh, it was a golden. We don't moment. need one of those again. <laughs> Austin, wait, you I good at it the first time. You, <laughs> you probably would have won. So had you won and let's say it's a final four challenge who, well, no, let's say final three, you win out of me. It's you, Alex and Mike, who do you pick to go with you? I love this question, actually, <laughs> uh, so much because uh, I would have taken Alex and it's no, it's nothing against Mike. I, I knew at some point one of us was going to have to stab one of us in the back. And it was just me that put my guard down enough for it to happen first. Uh, but I don't believe you. I, I promise you. Um, I think I think you're only saying that because I cut you first. No. I think you know if what? neither it of might... us voted for each other, we would have been there. <laughs> it, it probably was a little out of spite, but honestly, the fact that you had a lot more bullet points to make as a finalist at a jury, like that's just something that me, who was able to quote unquote survive for as long as I did, um, that's the aspect of it. And I honestly thought at a more level playing field, that I could compete a lot better with Alex in, in the retrospective of the end, because I, I feel as many times as I like talk shit and tried to vote him out half the time. Like he is a wonderful player and I love him to death, you know, grease lightning over there, my man. Uh, I really, 
really was looking forward. I think the most part I was looking forward was to see Ian and Morgan come up with this tiebreaker challenge that has been surfaced for how long? Like, do we have the design of that at least of what it would have been? Yes. Yes. Morgan, I remember, do a, I remember what the second it, half of the challenge was. Or the oh, second, good. second section. Okay. So the first, the first part of the challenge was going to be, they were all going to be like versions of challenges we had previously done in the season. So the first one would have been first person to do extreme flip cup with three cups. Okay. So well, I'm out I'm anyway. Gonna so this is <laughs> just going to give that to Lily right now. Cause like, Second one was balancing dice on the end of the ping pong paddle. So you would hold the paddle end and put it on the end of the stick flat out on the handle. Austin would have won that. And then the sec, the last one would have been a slide puzzle, which we would honestly, the reunion would not happen. We would still be, still be going on. Yeah. We would still be here. <laughs> so, you know, what's the worst part is I studied a slide puzzle before I even did that bitch. And I still, failed miserably because <laughs> I remember Greg being like there's a thing to it like there's gonna be a side puzzle and I was like you know what you're right I'm gonna start looking at them <laughs> well, the only reason I suspected that was because of Victoria because I spent the whole yeah. like pre-merge with Victoria and she just kept kind of training me on puzzles <laughs> Lily is that why you uh did you volunteer for the I puzzle know. for that I, I, know. Know. I, I know. love y'all Gone too soon yet again. That's right. No <laughs> fucking <laughs> wheel. <deep. laughs> um, I don't know that I volunteered, but they I would have sucked at all of those, like when we were the interns, I would have sucked at all of those equally. So I kind of was like, y'all kind of figure out what you want to do, and then I'll just take whatever I bought. <laughs> I, was, I think I forget who I was talking to, but we were like, I'm surprised that Lily was on the puzzle because you told us that you yeah. were terrible at puzzles. And yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, I just think I think the whole game, Victoria, like while Victoria was in the game, she was just if she wasn't on a call or in like a tribal or a challenge, she was practicing for stuff. I mean, <laughs> Victoria, am I right in saying that or? Well, I, I would have gotten the slide puzzle and then I practiced puzzles that never showed up. <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot to practice word puzzles. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's <laughs> Well, maybe you can give us some ideas uh, for the next season, some puzzles we need to include. Yeah, I'll, I'll message y'all after this. Awesome. I want to talk to Greg. Um, so Greg was, it seemed like you were like closely aligned with pretty much everybody. You were in the middle of all these alliances. Um, but watching the episodes back, was there any relationship or even conversation that you were surprised that happened? Like you didn't realize that something was going on? Um, I didn't think in the game that Alex and Mike were starting to come after me as soon as they were. I thought we were all like, oh, cool. Like we're going to the four. And I thought that was like solid. I, I They really had me played on that one. Because uh, in my mind, I was like, cool. Like we'll, we'll get to the four. We'll get rid of Mike. It'll be Alex, Lily, and I. And I felt confident with that, although Alex probably would have outspoken me and taken the win anyway. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Alex and not Mike, against not against you, Greg. <laughs> I don't think so. But Alex, Alex and Mike, they they had me fooled, and I I was so convinced that like we were going to stick together that I didn't even think about flipping. But I was also worried that if I flipped, like if I if I had gone to John or Austin to try to make something else happen, that they would have just taken it to Alex and Mike saying, "Oh, he's actually trying to flip on you now. Like, let's just get him out." So I, I probably should have made a move at seven when I was immune and Mike wasn't, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, John and I never really saw eye to eye in the game. And, you know, in hindsight, I think we could have made something work, but I don't know. I, I didn't trust John at all at the time. So I don't know why I was the trustworthy one on this cast. <laughs> Everyone knew what I was doing the entire time. I, I actually have to concur and say that, like, John never fucking lied to any of you. Like, really Bullshit. never lied to That's any of you. Okay, true. but I do want to... John and I just didn't, like, talk game, really, though. I we do want to ask John, and maybe you guys can chime in after he gives his response, because a lot of people in the exit interviews have said that, like, they love talking to John, but there was just always something that made them feel uneasy about talking with you. Like they just couldn't trust you. So 
what do you think that is? Like, why do you think people just had this like weird feeling about you, even though you were truthful the majority of the time? You go, John. Amigo, okay. Yes. Maybe it's because I was truthful all the time. And because of that, it just seemed like everything I was saying seemed too good most of the conversations. Like, the thing was, is like, I was approaching everything from a logical standpoint. So I was like, was fair. And I was like, this makes sense because of this. This is like, what's going on? Like the Zucker book. I was in a call with Lauren Austin and Mackenzie. It always and comes just, back to the Zucker vote. It always comes back to the Zucker vote. And they're you just like, us. yeah, we're going to vote. You're going to you're gonna vote Alex. And I was like, Mackenzie, I'm like, it makes no sense to vote Alex here. Mackenzie's been going on about how Alex has just been like crazy raged because he was left out of this last vote. Why do we want to get rid of that? Why aren't we targeting Greg and Lily? And then my dumb ass is sitting there not realizing it's because these guys are all working with Greg and Lily. But, like, that's how I was approaching it is, like, I was looking at things and, like, logic, logic, logic. And then when something didn't make logical sense, instead of being like, yo, why doesn't this make logical sense? Why, why is this not a thing? I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll go talk to someone else. Can I chime in here, though, and just say sometimes what you think is logical is not logical for everyone else in the game. So what you think is a good move, that's not the best move for other people that were playing the game. So you have to look at it but, from that standpoint as well. But Lauren, I was always positing the, the suggestions in accordance to the game of the person I was speaking with. Yeah, but if everyone played say- to your logic, then you're the winner of the game because you're getting everyone to vote in your specific direction. So I'm looking at Lily here shaking her head. That's what you want Lily to maybe do is not good for her game. I agree. And I will say for the Zucker vote, I don't know. I know, John, you weren't on this call, but there was a call where it was, and I might've made this up in my brain. I need someone to verify that this is true. (laughs) But I, like, I remember it being Alex, Mike, Zucker, and I in a call. John couldn't make it. And me saying, Zucker, I think it might be you. And that was me seeing if Zucker would say, oh yeah, there's another plan to vote Alex out. But if you're telling me it's me, we'll put the votes on Mackenzie. Because that's what this fake group was telling us, right? And so I remember afterwards, I was like, oh, just wait and see what plays out. Because you know what I mean? And I remember like you guys solely sticking on, we're going to vote out Alex, Alex, or not Alex, Mackenzie. Mackenzie's only option. And in my head, I was like, I don't want Mackenzie gone yet. So then it it has to be Zucker. So I feel like even if you think you were willing to put out options, even if options were brought to you, I feel like maybe there was miscommunication with me as well. And like what Lauren said, your logic, John, and we had completely different games. Your logic would have gotten me out at friggin' final 10. (laughs) A Zucker vote? Yeah, I did put your name on the Zucker Yeah, you did. I can fact check that. Lily. (laughs) Why, why weren't you not ready to vote Mackenzie out that time, but two days later, you were okay with voting her out? So I will say the reason I was willing to vote out Mackenzie two days later, because I went to, I was like, it can't be like, Alex, I need someone on, you need to lose somebody. I've lost Andrew. You know, it's kind of this like, and she wasn't ready to vote out Austin. And so I was like, you know, I'm so, and I knew I was low on Mackenzie's totem pole. She had a lot of people that, and it's just because of the game, you know what I mean? She was able to make connections before I was able to get to her. And that's how I saw it. Maybe I didn't understand how loyal she was to me, but Zucker and I were never going to be loyal to each other. So if it's Mackenzie or Zucker, Zucker makes more sense for my game. So that that brings us back. Why not Austin? Why not Austin? We, all right. So that vote, Mike, Alex, Lily, Zucker, and I were all together on a call, and we were trying to decide. Like, we knew that the vote was weird, and it could have been any of us. And the five of us were on a call saying, "We could just. We know other people are throwing their votes elsewhere. We could either decide Austin or Mackenzie. And if the five of us agreed, one of them would have gone home. But we split on Austin and Mackenzie. And then after that, I think Zucker left, and that's when we heard in the episode that he went to John and was like, "Oh crap! Like they're a lot closer than we expect." which probably solidified why you were going then after Alex or, you know, one of us, but 
why not Austin? <laughs> <laughs> and no offense, buddy. Like, I, you know that I like chatting with you. I was just, I felt like I needed a move because I hadn't really made one. So I was going after Austin. Everyone was defending Austin. I couldn't get him out. So well played, Austin. You crushed it. Like you had everyone wanting to keep you around. That's good game. I'm, nice, I'm a nice guy. I, that's all I can say, honestly. Uh, <laughs> it's, I think it's the robe. All right. I want to talk to Lauren. Um, you've played in more than one org. You have hosted games. Um, who on this cast surprised you the most? Just with their game and watching it unfold based on first impressions or anything else okay so i knew instantly greg was going to be good at the game that's why i aligned with him immediately but someone that surprised me on this cast for sure lily and that goes back to exactly what i said to her at final travel council where you really thought everyone underestimated you but we didn't we knew that you were a great player and you did some amazing things in this game and you really did surprise me. And I loved watching it back and getting to see what you were doing behind the scenes. Cause you really knew what was going on throughout pretty much the entire game. There's a couple pieces that you were missing that you didn't know what was happening, but at the same time you crushed it. So give yourself credit. I hope to see you play another game and kill it again. I'm curious to I know. Have a what... question. Oh, oh, go ahead, Greg. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'm curious to know what might've happened if Lauren came back into the game instead of John. Oh. So kind of putting that putting that out there. Would we have sent her right back out? Yes. I she think Lauren, who who would you have gone after? I think is the question because I think if you came to Greg and I and tried to go after Austin, we would have gone for that. So no if I came in back the game, I would have went. <laughs> no, if I came back into the game, I immediately would have went to you and Greg especially because I had somewhat been working with you guys prior to that. And at that point, everyone saw how I was playing the game. If it wasn't me, great. We'll vote somebody else out. <laughs> so yeah, I, but I said this in my exit I said, I think I would have been used for one vote and then you guys would have voted me out the next one. So I only would have made it maybe one round more. Yeah. Unless you want immunity. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What were then, well, then, then Greg would have gone. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, he say. wouldn't have because he would have had the advantage. At seven, though. It wouldn't I had, have been awesome. I, won, I can tell you that. But I, I won flip cup at seven. <laughs> he won flip cup at seven. So he's saying if I would have went to them and was cool with voting Austin, Austin's gone. Then we're at final six. Greg has a, his advantage. I win immunity. Then y'all are all kind of screwed. Oh. Okay. Honestly, Lauren, you coming back into the game, I feel like you might have wanted to target Simmons. That's what I thought. And I probably, oh. if I was safe, you, I mean, you convinced me to do a lot of things in the game. I think you probably could have convinced Dave Proctor Simmons of that one. Yeah, so everyone here, like, that's an interesting concept. I think we know where Jim would have wanted to go, though. If we, if Jim's not here right now, but I think Jim would have said <laughs> Lauren's name till he died, if it meant. <laughs> Jim, Jim was saying Lauren and John all game. I don't think anybody – I mean, th those are the two names coming out of Jim's mouth. I know. I wish Jim was still here. Yeah, I want to know his perspective on that, but I 100% think he still would have written my name down. <laughs> Even if it wasn't you, he still would have written Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe you go to Rocks. But, yeah, well. You go to Rocks. <laughs> I have a, okay, so my question was, if it's John, Lauren, and McKen Mackenzie at the end, who do you think wins the game, the final challenge? And then who does everyone vote for? Saying we're all in the jur jury, everyone here. Like, I think Lauren might have won the, the game because I feel like she would know those facts. I think I would have, I knew almost every, there was only two questions I didn't know. Mac so really I think I would have, but I think I would have taken Lauren and then she would have beat me. Okay. <laughs> but, but the so problem is, is Lauren we have to the thing we have to consider though, Mackenzie, is that any question asked about you, Lauren, or myself wouldn't have been asked. I got the, I would have gotten the French about... horn question wrong. That was one of the questions I got wrong. But it wouldn't but have been. The question been that was John's question. The questions oh, yeah. would have been about Alex Simmons and Lily instead. Yeah, Lauren probably gets those right. I think I would get more yeah. of those right, depending on what they were. I think it would have been close again. I think that the mm -hmm. final. So then, Lauren, who do you take with you? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because she doesn't your like game, that. Your game <laughs> bestie or your in real life bestie? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm really close with both of them. So, but no, like no. at the time, yeah, you only was, like, knew me for best. six months beforehand. That is true. Um, honestly, for me, I think I would have probably taken Mackenzie with me to the end. Okay, so let's say it's Lauren and Mackenzie. Sorry, I'm taking over, but who votes for Lauren? <laughs> if, I felt like if Lauren or John got to the end, because they were labeled as the big threats literally from day one, if either of them get to the end, we're all just stupid and you have to reward them with it. I do have to say, though, for Mackenzie to get to the finals, it would have had to be freaking crazy. So she could have <laughs> made some like good moves like in between when she went out to get to the finals. So it's possible I could have voted for her. Honestly, this, this is what I think that really comes down to like how that end stretch goes. And again, final tribal performance. Because like both of these two are fantastic women who would be playing cutthroat games to get to the end. And they both have very strong arguments. It's just who's going to be able to articulate their argument better. That's why I wouldn't want to sit next to you because I feel as though you would be able to argue your case very well as Mackenzie would. So it honestly would be a toss up. Yeah, Mackenzie I, speaks professionally, reads and speaks professionally. <laughs> I think if John makes it to the end against either of them, I think John wins because I just think even if like, even if the argument's there, I just think I just, for some reason, John didn't make people except for Lily. John didn't make people as mad as you guys did. Hey, let's talk about that for a second. Lily got really mad at me for a lot of things in these episodes that I never did. <laughs> Stick it up your ass, John. <laughs> I try. I remember that confessional. Like at, when it showed, I ran out of the room. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and then after I was like, I remember trying to pull that clip like 12 hours after I put it in and it was gone. It was gone so fast. I was like, oh God. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> uh, and then when it airs, I immediately get a message from Lily. It's like, John, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, like, yeah. I don't know what was going on. And I'm like, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, John messaged me right <laughs> when that happened. was like, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think my thing with John is like, I thought it made so much sense for us to work together, but I felt like you never trusted me. So I could never trust you. Like there was like, we should have worked together. We just didn't. And it was so frustrating to me. And I think like it was both of us, but of course mm -hmm. in my mind, I was like, he won't work with me. <laughs> and, it, and that's the crazy thing is because like going into the merge, I was pretty open with who I would work with. That's not true. Andrew immediately told me that I should work with Lauren. <laughs> and Lauren and I literally had a conversation that was like, okay, everyone thinks that we're going after each other. So we should work together. And then, like we said, like, the reason Andrew gets voted out is because he's all of a sudden is then telling everyone else, do you think Lauren and John are working together? And it's like, honestly, if Andrew, if that had never happened, I have no idea what would have happened at that merge booth. Like, it was wild. There were so many people working with each other. Every single former tribe was talking to each other, trying to gain a foothold to figure out where the vote was going to go. We even, like, to get the Andrew vote, we made this group of Simmons, Mackenzie, Lauren, Greg, Austin, and myself to, like, kind of spearhead that. And who knows where things would have gone if Andrew simply didn't say, John and Lauren are working to each other, to everyone else on this call. John, can I just say something real quick? Um, so my entire family and all, most of my friends watched this. And everyone messaged me at some point after watching that episode and with your confessional. And they all basically said the same thing. I was like, wow, I, I like, we've known you this long. And like, uh, it took us forever to figure out. Cause I, I do do that in my real life as well. Not, mm -hmm. not a sociopath, I promise. Um, <laughs> but I do like to plant seeds in people's heads just to see what, how it goes. Oh, and God. they all, <laughs> and they all, pretty much said like yeah he called you out very fast on that and i'm like yes john's a great guy <laughs> so way to go john i love you andrew i wish we could have worked together who knows what would have happened if we did but you voted out connor to vote before and then i was really fishy with you <laughs> he had to go let's just get all 16 of you to play again and we'll no. just 
<laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely not. Can I ask uh, a question for Zucker real me. quick, though? I really yeah. got to know this. If you would have stayed in the game and say Alex would have went there, were you coming for John and I on the next boat? That was, that was my honest intention, yes. I would have <laughs> yes. really wanted to work with, in that case, you know, Mike, Greg, Lily, uh, and probably Jim, because uh, I knew that, you know, he was obviously gunning for you and John to work something at that point. It was just five that we needed, so that was my plan, yeah. The worst? That validates my decision on why I voted you out then. See, yeah. the worst thing about soccer, <laughs> stupid soccer. No, like, I <laughs> literally, they when they came to me and were like, we're voting Zucker, like, that's the plan. And I was like, Zucker's with us. Like, what, like, I was the one, like, obviously, and Zucker freaking voted me. So now I don't even have an argument. And uh, I wish, see, I don't know. See, I don't know why you, Greg and Mike, I don't know why you guys voted Andrew. And I don't know why we voted Zucker. I just want to say that. <laughs> I think both of those were dumb. Voting Alex, Andrew. I wish our argument was shown on screen. I wish I recorded that. I do too. I got <laughs> off easy. I wish I... I probably made some great points and I we probably were lashing wasn't at each it. other five minutes before the Zucker vote. Alex just storms in just <laughs> full steam screaming at me. I remember Greg and I pulled Mike and Alex and we're like, listen, the vote's going on Zucker. And they were like, no, like <laughs> we were trying well, to make up. being like, oof, I've been there. We were trying <laughs> to make up for the mistake of Mike and I not telling you guys about the Andrew vote. And that oh, you guys vote. you did that one worse. Greg. But the thing is, and that's and that's exactly when I pitched. Let's the four of us vote Mackenzie right now. And and I mean, Greg and I had talked about it. Like the four of us could flip, but it made sense for our two games, in my opinion. And Greg, you can jump in. It made sense for Greg and I to keep Mackenzie, and it made sense for Alex and Mike to keep Zucker. I have to say though, voting I didn't want to vote Zucker. I mean, clearly you guys left me out. But that really helped my game by you guys getting rid of Zucker and p- pissing off John. Like, that was fantastic. Yeah. Let the I hope likes. pretty much everyone's game that was on original, Phil. I, I, like, feel like by being, like, the stupidest person in the entire world and, like, deciding that that's what I needed to do that day, I fucked up everyone's game in OG Alexa. And for that, I'm sorry. And for the rest of you, um, you're welcome. <laughs> if, if Zucker kept, Thank you. If, if Zucker stayed in the game, though, like you could, he could have very easily sat in the final two or three, like mm-hmm. getting, if, if you didn't go out then, like, I think you would have lasted a lot longer. Yeah. So you going home I was like was to good think, night. thought that, you know, you never know, but um, that was my hope and plan definitely was to kind of for the first couple of votes, play the middle and then uh, make my move at nine, but just never came to be. Honestly, Zucker was the hardest person to evaluate in this game as to how far you could take him into the game. Mm. Because he always made you feel like you could work with him and that you were working together and coming up with plans together. But you also knew he was such a likable guy and everyone else in this cast was talking to him the exact same way you were. So it's like, I can trust him. We can go far. But how far can we go before he just beats me? Yeah. Yeah. Too smart for your own good. (laughs) I think, honestly, Zucker would have had the same game, in my opinion, as, like, Greg and Austin. As, like, everyone loves them. No one can really gauge them. I think you had that game. Your just downfall was your tie to John. Mm. It seems like. And that's an outside perspective, but. No, I I agree. I think to an extent, uh, you know, I maybe didn't try not try but but in actuality reality didn't conceal you know my closeness with him as well um but I you know just from my own standpoint didn't want John thinking that I wasn't with him I wanted him to think that I was with him until you know again basically I I struck and um you know again in hindsight that wasn't probably the best play but at the time it made sense so that's why that's why I I did that All right, Ian, what do you think? You guys ready to laugh for a little bit? All right. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) Nice haircut, Ian. It looks good. Thanks, Lily. (laughs) (laughs) The other alliance, which is the Amigas, is me, Austin, 
Um, James, I think is his name. For the <laughs> Phil tribe, Mike is the caller. Lily, Bill, and Lauren rolling dice. Gabby, or fuck, let's start that again. <laughs> What up? Uh, what up, America? I'd like to everyone to know, uh, actually, right before I hit record, I found a third. I found a third idol. So we're all safe. Look at that. <laughs> I love how we addressed America as if, like, America is really going to be watching. All of America. Like, we're lucky to get maybe, like, 100 views on YouTube. It's like, okay, Lily's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lily's mom. <laughs> Hi, Lily's mom. <laughs> Oh no! I got a P too, so I'll be go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Up, oh, Lauren left the meeting. Oops. We run a mini and yell at people for doing this. Get out of here! All the people you can vote are in this room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so <laughs> well, let's see. I want I want Lily, Alex, Austin, and Greg. I'm voting for all of them. All right, four votes. <laughs> hey, Lily. Hi. Okay, I was deathly afraid that I would show it, so I have to do the dramatic right. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so I cast my vote to evict Will. I feel really bad about it, but. Oh, wait, can you redo that and not Big Brother style? <laughs> oh, do I just put it up? Well, don't say I cast my vote to evict. Oh, <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> How should I say? I'm voting for Will. Okay, okay. Like, that that kind of <laughs> okay so just okay i vote for will <laughs> this oh isn't real <laughs> so we stop eating sticks seriously it's not food you gotta stop do y'all have any plans after this yeah i'll probably drink a lot <laughs> i guess ability I to kind of navigate that. because it's like we have certain doors open from our previous tribes is that your cat? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what were we doing voting him out so early? Yeah, for real. You never know what he's going to do next. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. I feel like the three of us can be very open with information with each other and let each other know what everyone else seems to be thinking so that none of us end up being on the rough end of a blind side. Uh, I'm trying so to serious. take you seriously, John, but I know. Never against you. I know. <laughs> so my guess is you hold the paddle, you balance the ping pong ball, and you add balls at regular instrument, <clears throat> regular instruments. What the fuck? Intervals. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this man? This is amazing. I think my brain knew you were trying to pull this double eviction, and that's why I said I vote. To <laughs> double eviction. <laughs> I'm dead. Lily, really. wrong game. <laughs> we'll let you know. It's kind of a brother. double eviction, though. We'll let yeah. you know when the Big Brother org is happening. We'll let you know. I, I you know, I think I, I'm a one and done kind of gal. <laughs> All right, I got pee. How do you always have to pee at this point in time? Relax. <laughs> we did it. We made the merge. And you know what that means? Ladies, I am both single and dateable. Right <laughs> so, if you want to connect with me, just go ahead and leave a comment below. <laughs> no, I'm just, this game is gonna, I'm gonna have to go therapy after this. Thanks, uh, Austin. Thanks, guys. Join breakout room. <laughs> I don't know why I keep wanting to call your brother Andrew. I know. Jeremy, that's why. Yes. Ass hat. From season what? from season one of the mini, he kept calling Austin Andrew. I had a whole speech planned out. I hope you guys know. Um, and then I told my boyfriend my speech and he said it was cringe, so I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to piss. No one here is an easy or tough vote. If that makes any sense. I don't think it did, but 
So everybody is both an easy vote and a tough vote, but also neither at the same time. Yep, quote <laughs> me on that. You're saying. <laughs> I was thinking like in the one in a million chance I win today, I would be like, who wants to go? And then whoever says they'd go, let them go. And then when they come back, oh, Connor, like, Connor was one vote away from getting his wish to getting a volunteer. <laughs> and then when they come back, be like, bitch, I know you have an idol. Now let's work together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah 13th and 7 okay i got a p now it's no surprise <laughs> nope <laughs> one of the 10 of you will be the seventh person no shoot the sixth person <laughs> math teacher <laughs> love you mackenzie bye uh, mackenzie love you girl bye mackenzie love you florida <laughs> She leave the whole meeting. <laughs> Probably. Hold on, I got it. <laughs> Probably. She said she was messy. She wasn't kidding. <laughs> Ian, do you feel like everybody's good? Yeah. Uh, John, can you show us like what's to the left of the cup? <laughs> There's one more twist. We got to bring Will and Gabby back real quick. <laughs> oh Are you sure you don't want to bring John back for the fourth They've time? They've been on Exile Island this whole time. <laughs> you know who could have done this was Victoria. I know. Oh. She would have crushed it. Yeah, she would have. Bring her back too. You want me to message her? <laughs> yeah. Three of my final five, baby, are in the final five. Hell yeah. Too bad you didn't make it to the final five, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. <laughs> All right. Into the Phil tribe dynamics. The Alexa tribe will not know, or I'm sorry, dang it. The Phil tribe will not know. So, Ian, what's your favorite number? 69. <laughs> Good number. Times two. <laughs> Times two. These are my confessions. Just when I thought that everyone was going to try and vote out Lily, I decided to turn it on Mike Zucker, and now they're voting out Alex, which is what I wanted in the first place. So I'm not sure what to do with that information. Thank you. How awkward that would have been if I would have said Gabby. <laughs> In what context? See, he had to go. <laughs> why, why isn't he here? would have stolen all the screen time from us. <laughs> That's true. And that was good. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Matt? There we go. My audio wasn't on. So, uh, <laughs> sticking with canon, I'm going to go put the votes out, and I have to pee. I mean this respectfully. I mean, you guys are a bunch of bitches. This is crazy. <laughs> All right. I'll go get the votes. Wait, Ian, stop. Ian, I need some time. Don't go anywhere. Gary, what the fuck? I told you. I, I literally told you. Told we told you. Need to talk 15 tribals this season, and that didn't happen. And we told you to wait every time. I thought you guys were pulling some shit. <laughs> are they or not i can't suck it down. I know. No, we need to rearrange your no, they put us all in order, order like yeah. so they have everyone in order there I'm, oh got I'm, it i'm an idiot um scary and mckenna whenever you're ready i'm clearly ready <laughs> i'm ready to i'm i'm ready i'm good that went just as great as I had hoped it would went. <laughs> Good way to end, I guess. <laughs> oh, <awesome. laughs> uh, I really wish Connor would have been here for that. Yep. Was that the entire just, time he was waiting for was, Simmons to yeah, join the call? Just, because that minutes. makes a lot of sense since he was never on time to anything. That was just two minutes of him waiting for a mic. And I'm glad Mike was late because we got that out of it. So that's unusual of me too. I'm usually right on time. I don't. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mr. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <no>. Punctual. <laughs> God. That was not just a me thing. I was like, every time we were supposed to talk, it would be two hours afterwards. 
Oh, that was Mike. Yeah. Oh, that was Mike. Mike. Oh, okay, cool. I tell Mike in real life to meet like a half hour before I actually need to. So then he's on time. <laughs> this is true. That was a good blooper reel. Well done. Was yeah, fun. Was awesome. You could have just put Connor in there for like five minutes and that would have been hilarious. <laughs> I think it was better that it was split up like that. That was perfect. It was like, you would forget about it. And then it's like, this is still going on. (laughs) All right, Ian, going to close this thing out for us. Yeah. Um, Again, like I said, when the season ended, uh, when Morgan and I put this game together, we envisioned a cast that came to play. And you guys not only came to play, but you brought your great personalities with it. And not only was the gameplay great, but like, I will always, always remember the 16 people that played this game. Uh, I hope to keep hosting games. And this, these were the first 16 people that I hosted. So uh, hats off again, like Andrew said, to all you um, for the games that you played. And I have a special announcement from our head of production. McKenna, take it away. Hello, everyone. Well, if you are excited to see where SGSN goes next, we have our next mini coming out September 23rd. Lauren and I are back hosting again, and you might see a familiar face from Exile Island. So tune in. Also, tonight we are dropping our application for season four. This is going to be season four Sahara Dunes. So you don't want to miss it. Please apply. Dope. Yeah, SGSM, we're not stopping. One game leads to the next. Uh, Yeah, season three, Iriki Islands is a great season. Uh, Like McKenna said, there is a castaway on that season from this season. Uh, So make sure you tune in to find out who that is and how well that they do. And again, Exile Island was fantastic, but we are not stopping with uh, season four mini of Sahara Dunes. So if you feel like it, and you should, you should apply for the game. Uh, Because a mini is completely different from from the long game that you played. It's one day of hell, and that's it, instead of 39. So, um, and yes, for Exile Island, congratulations to not only everyone, but especially our winner, Alex Cousins, uh, played a great game. And I really think that Final Tribal showed that, or you showed that Final Tribal matters. Um, and I think that your game was lost along the way. And I think a lot of people mentioned that and you proved them wrong in the end. So, Kaniki won the game. Grease Lightning. Damn right he did. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. And as always, catch us next time here on Survivor Game Show Network. We'll see you next time.